Hello friends, welcome again to this channel. This is G Solutions. We find solutions for your needs. Again, the problem is about these uh, impedances in a certain here according to the problem two impedances namely z sub 1 which has a value of 10 c is 45 degree ohms and z sub 2 equals to 12 c is of 30 degree ohms these impedances are in series across a voltage source and the total reactive power of this uh, circuit system is given okay q is 20 60 volt ampere reactive or 2060 so we are to determine the total true power or our s or the apparent power and the true power i mean the true power is r uh, a p <coughs> and the total apparent power is our s okay and we are also to determine the applied voltage okay uh, we have here an illustration you have here an impedance Z sub 1 and another impedance in series Z sub 2. Okay. So we can actually get the summation of the impedances Z sub 1 and Z sub 2 which is Z sub T. So this is Z sub 1 plus Z sub 2. The value is this one, 45 degree plus 12 cis of 30 degree, okay? And uh, we can also uh, change the form to rectangular, the 10 cis of 45 degree as a rectangular value of 7.07. Since that is 45 degree, it will be the same. Okay, plus J, 7.07. .07. And for your 12 cis of 30 degree, so you have 12 cis of 30 degree. Okay, that is 10.39. 10.39 plus the real part is 6 okay 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 let me just uh, repeat it if it is correct so you have here shift rectangular 12 comma 30 okay so 10.39 and Okay, the yeah, the imaginary part is six, so plus J six, and we are to group all the real part, and that is ten point thirty nine plus seven point zero seven, which will give us seventeen point forty six. And for the imaginary part, 7.07 .07 plus 6, that is 13, 13.07. So that will be the ZT or the total impedance. So we need this one uh, because uh, our reactive power the true power and total power will uh, be based on this uh, passive uh, element or the load or the impedance, the total impedance. Okay, so it will become like this one: a single impedance Z sub t. So in your Z sub t, this will be your resistor, and this will be your inductive reactance it just gives us an information that our inductive uh, 
reactants okay i'll put an arrow here that our inductive reactants is i mean if our reactants is an inductive reactance because of the presence of the positive sign for our reactance okay that is an inductive reactance okay so it means that we can also get the the uh, polar form of this rectangular one to be able for us to get the angle no? because if you are going to represent this into a right triangle okay so this will be your r this will be your x and this is your uh, zt here okay so getting the polar form of that the polar form of 17.46 J13.07 equals 21.81 cis of okay, alpha 36.82 degree okay. it means that 36.82 is your theta here, theta of zt. No? So this theta of zt will be also the angle for your power. Okay, so we will adapt this one because your power will uh, take also the angle of your impedance. So let us represent the power into a right uh, triangle so this will be your theta here theta your theta is equivalent to theta zt okay so that is uh, here uh, this is now 36.82 degree and what is given here is 2060 Okay, this is your P, this is your Q, and this is your S. And Q is equals to 20 or 2060 volt ampere reactive. Okay? So, we can easily now get the real power by using a trigonometric function. So in this case, uh, if you are going to get P, you can set up an equation of tangent 36.82 degree is equals to Q over P or Q is 2060 over P so to solve for P you just uh, take the algebraic uh, manipulation we can have 2060 divided by tangent 36.82 degree so that will be 2060 divided by tangent 36.82 and it will give us 2.75 I don't know 2. 2751.65 so this is 2751.65 watts okay that is in watts now to be able for us to solve for s you can have the um, <clears throat> okay you can have the use of the functions no using the sides okay or the pythagorean theorem so it depends upon you so uh, let us have the pythagorean theorem it will be S, that is P squared plus Q squared, square root of this one. So P squared is 2751.65 squared plus Q is 2060 squared, so the square root of this one. Okay? And uh, <coughs> what will be the result? just uh, 2751 
2,065 squared plus 2,060 squared equals and the square root of the answer that is 3,000 3,437.32.32. This is in volt ampere. So you have now the three uh, power. So for the real power, you have this one. I'll put it in a box. Answer. And for the apparent power is this one. For 3,437. Okay. And... Uh, the reactive power is given here, okay, 2060. So you, we have determined already the three power, the true power, the apparent, and the given, which is the reactive power. And the other one is we are to determine also the applied voltage. So how do you get the applied voltage here? Knowing that uh, we have a uh, total impedance here, J sub T, and a power which is real power is 2071.65 we can solve for the current here okay the total current we just only get the real power or the resistor okay, so we know that the power of a resistor is equal to uh, the I squared over A times R. Okay, that's how you get the resistor power. So to be able for you to get the I, you uh, perform in algebraic manipulation here. That will be the square root of P over R. So we are given we are given here the real power and the value of the resistor based on the calculated uh, solutions for this problem okay so uh, will be like this one okay <coughs> so the value of your power is 2751.65 watts divided by r which is this one that is 17.46 okay and the square root of this one so the answer will be again uh, here we are to divide to 7 5 1 point 65 divided by 17.46 equals and the square root of the result is that is 12.55 this is 12.55 ampere okay so knowing the the uh, current as 12.55 ampere okay we can now solve for the applied voltage so the applied voltage is uh, Again, B, applied voltage, multiplied by the current, that is, let's say that is I sub T here, okay, I sub T, and also multiplied to J sub T, okay. So, we have 12.55 as our current, multiplied to the total impedance, which is 21, Point eighty one, cis of thirty six point eighty two degree. So we again use the calculator. So that is twelve point fifty five times twenty one point eighty one, and it is two hundred seventy three point seventy one, cis of thirty six point eighty two degree volts. So this will be the value of your of, uh, applied voltage, this one, okay? This will be your answer, okay? So I hope you uh, understand uh, the uh, 
presentation of the solution for this problem. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, please share and uh, subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much.